And welcome back to Between Bells, everyone. Now, as you've probably seen, Cheddar has rebranded as Cheddar News, and our new tagline is Look Forward. Now, our new branding emphasizes the network's commitment to covering the next generation of innovators and decision makers who are all changing the world. And I sat down with model Lena Bloom, who made history as the first black and Asian trans woman to appear in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. And here's what she had to say about what that milestone means to her. Take a listen to this. It means that I came on this earth to do something, to change something, to create something, to um, have a message that's inside me. And I'm using that message to, you know, to uplift everyone and to be a, be a beacon of hope. You know, I think that's what we need in this time. We need some people that are carrying this important load to help change the world and to be a, be a beacon of hope. and. You know, um, this moment with Sports Illustrated, any moment that I am allowed to make history is a moment for me to kind of like live for today and hopefully tomorrow, but it also allows me to live forever. So, yeah. And you've said before, I was reading an interview that you've done in the past, that living your truth and really owning that, that's really a form of activism. Who and what helped push you to where you are today that got you there? Um... I think it's growing up seeing so many black and brown bodies being marginalized and having the able bodies to have the ability to create and be creative and to go out in the world and want to want better for themselves, but they were put in these spaces and these boxes that said that they couldn't. So um, I'm living their dreams and their dreams are living through me. So I think it's important to understand that this is not just my dream. These are dreams amongst my peers and amongst my sister and brothers that stand beside me and that are coming up behind me and also the ones that have paved the way for me to be here. So um, I just have to, every time I get an opportunity to do something um, that is a huge opportunity, I have to constantly think of the people that also um, belong in these opportunities, belong in these spaces, belong in these in my shoes that wants these opportunities also. So I have to like, who knows if we're gonna get another moment like this, you know? So while we are having this moment, I wanna represent them also. Absolutely, representation matters so much just for so many people seeing you living your true authentic self and the beauty that comes from all of that. How do we achieve more representation in today's modeling world and also create lasting change at the same time? Um, I th I, it's not just in the modeling world. It's, it's all over the universe. It's in every space that has positions of power that have the ability to challenge people's and people's perspectives to, um, to reflect what's happening in the world. You know, Fashion Road is a huge um, pool of opportunity where people um, can really draw inspiration from. So the way we do that is by just looking about looking around at the people that's next to you and seeing like is there a space that needs to be filled that has not been filled yet is there's people in this room that have perspectives that come from different walks of life that can also come into these spaces and bring something fresh and new and um it also deals with the person in the position of power. It's like, hey, I have this power. Maybe I need to give up my power a little bit to let someone else shine. You know, Maybe we need to make sure that there is a quota here to make sure that every time we look around and we're in boardrooms, everyone looks like everyone out in the world that's gonna be watching this moment, whatever we're putting out the world. You know, Everyone is, the eye has to follow. So if someone is watching this, regardless where they're at in the world, they want to see like, hey, this person is me. I often look at content online and I'm constantly looking for people that look like me. And it's not often that I see that. So when I do see someone that looks like me, I'm like, hooray for them, hooray for us. And um, the world is getting better day by day. We know trans rights are under assault in this country. In numerous states right now, many legislatures are trying to pass these draconian measures regarding the trans community. What's your message to so many younger individuals out there who A, might not feel confident in their own skin at this particular moment, but they're seeing the government come out against them? Mm. Honestly, for me, Growing up, I didn't really rely too much on the government to dictate my my well being and my survival way of living. Um, there's there's ways to navigate yourself in society. It doesn't involve using the government as a as the main source of of opportunity. Um, every person 
it, that is living and breathing that has able body can go out in the world and do something different and change something different. And that leadership and that courage could, um, could really change things. You know, I'm a person that was not raised in a traditional world of living. And, um, I just used what the resources I had around me to just kind of like say, Hey, you know, I can't go on these spaces, so I'm going to make spaces that I can go into, that we can go into. So I can't really rely on the government. I can't rely on these these pillars of power. I have to create my own pillars. I have to really um, unite myself with other people that have that same ideas. And we create, um, we create moments for ourselves. And that's what it's about. And there's resources out there. We just got to go out there and find them. Amen. So well said. You know, it's so crazy how much the pandemic has changed everything and all of our jobs. I was broadcasting from my kitchen for like the longest period of time. We've seen models have to do at home shoots for a lot of magazines because of the pandemic and those shots have been amazing. But now that the vaccine rollout is ramping up, what are you sort of looking forward to in the modeling industry when we get back to normal here soon? Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking to see people like myself in these spaces. We had a year to figure it out, to see what's missing. We had a year to kind of like understand what's going on with ourselves and how we're going to position ourselves to show this to the world. I, I, I think we have a lot of new leaders that have developed a conscience and um, a, a self-awareness um, of who they are and where they want to be positioned in this world. So I just want to see more people that are willing to challenge those spaces, that are willing to have the courage to say, I matter, my ideas matter, my perspective matters, my, creati my creativity um, matters, and I want to go into these spaces and challenge them and create my own, my own moments. Um, um, I think we're, I think when, before the pandemic started, um, we were in that direction. And I think we just are kind of like, we need to be rebirthed a little bit. We need to like really sit down and look at everything that's here, look at all the puzzle pieces and rearrange them to make sure that they really, really fit. So I just, I just, I just want to just be able to open a magazine or turn on a TV and, and just see so many different people from different walks of life. That's all I want to do. Me and if I can be a part of that, um, that experience when they open those magazines, then I did my job. And that is actor, model, and activist Lena Bloom, and a very impressive person that she is.